How are you wonderful people doing out there? I'm sure that a lot of you are getting prepared for the uh, Super Bowl, and I won't fault you for it. Um, I'm not one of those types to uh, suggest that everybody does what I say. You know, it's my choice not to watch it. I have my reasons uh, as a military veteran and a proud patriotic American. Uh, I just want to give you guys my take on the FISA report. I really don't have a take on it. Uh, I think it's ugly. I think it surpasses Watergate uh, by a million miles. Um, the bottom line is this. Uh, nothing's going to happen. I'd be surprised if it does. If you look back on history and scandals that we've had in this country, um, they pick one person. That's the scapegoat. Uh, take a look at Watergate. You look at uh, G. Gordon Liddy. He pretty much took the heat for it. Once he'd done his time and was punished, uh, he's managed to make millions of dollars um, either commentating or um, special appearances. So in no way was his life affected, and I'm sure that was in the design. Um, then we move up to the 80s and the Iran-Contra hearing. Um, Ali North took that heat, and uh, he was punished and did his time. And again, he is paid to appear, um, uh, paid for his appearance and speeches, and as well as commentating. So, uh, when the point in my um, video is this, is that if the American people don't hold those in charge accountable, nobody will. These guys take care of each other, they watch out for each other. And uh, they make sure that their lives really doesn't change. I mean, I'm sure when they go to prison or whatever, they're still eating steak, watching cable TV, and live a lot better than probably 90% of Americans in this country. Um, so when it comes to the Pfizer report, it is very shocking uh, how they are misusing our intelligence agencies uh, to not only spy on political opponents, but as well as the American people. You got people that are in these positions that are using that technology to spy on ex-girlfriends, wives, and, and nonetheless. Uh, but we need to have these people punished and show them there are consequences to your actions. Uh, you take, for instance, somebody like Jefferson Davis, who was the president of the Confederacy uh, during, uh, you know, the split between the North and the South. Um, because he was a traitor, he was treated appropriately. He was exiled. Uh, nobody ever heard of this guy again. But in the current situation, that's not how that happens. These guys live high on the hog for the rest of their lives. They got other avenues where they continue to make money. They're not exiled, and they're not really punished. Take, for instance, if somebody gave you $2 million to spend six months in jail to watch cable TV, work out, and eat well, would you do it? Most of us would because most of us don't have $2 million. These guys are, are taking these falls for these high-ranking politicians and, and uh, taking falls for the deep state and things like that. They're taking the money and they're taking this little punishment, or we think it's punishment, but it's not. It's horrible. So what I think about the Pfizer report, I think about the Pfizer report is just get people riled up. It's nothing more than that. I don't think anybody's going to be punished, and if it is, it's maybe one or two people. When it should go a lot further than that. It should roll all the way back to Obama. It should roll all the way back. Everybody should be looked at, and this should be taken seriously. But unfortunately, American people would just look back, read this memo that they let out, not realizing that these guys are all working together. You want to talk about collusion? The collusion is between the parties. The collusion is with the dinos and the rhinos. The collusion is with politicians, not with Russia. I'm Dion Alexander, American First.